the government should have been on the forefront uh -huh. to ensure mm -hmm. that the gender bill passed. Mm -hmm. But the government itself was non-committal. Mm -hmm. A week before the president announced that he 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 won he's he the best performers in his government are women mm -hmm. he also said he he looks for the day that state house will have a woman president mm -hmm. but this is just lip service mm -hmm. um we our own party leader has been saying that yes we support women mm -hmm. um uh, and almost everybody kalonzo musalia weta everybody talks about their support for women mm -hmm. uh they all have wives they all have daughters they mm -hmm. all came from mothers mm -hmm. right but somehow they're not sold to the fact that we need women mm -hmm. to have their space. Mm -hmm. We have a population of 50% uh, men and women. Mm -hmm. We have uh, a, a population of over 54% children. Mm -hmm. So children are being nurtured by women. Mm -hmm. So you cannot avoid women in leadership. Yes. And uh, the fact that the bill failed, mm -hmm. now we only have the judiciary. Mm -hmm. Now there's been a sense of arrogance, there's been this conversation that will the judiciary mm -hmm. dissolve parliament. Mm -hmm. It is my sincere hope that they do, mm -hmm. uh, not because um, um, uh, because because I respect the constitution. Mm -hmm. The constitution is what we're governed with. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a constitution requires some amendments here and there, mm -hmm. but you cannot say that you're going to amend something mm -hmm. that you haven't already implemented. Mm -hmm. And I think even the way the Duale Bill came in, mm -hmm. it was saying that within a 20-year period, mm -hmm. we will have this many seats, and mm -hmm. then eventually women will be left to compete. Mm -hmm. We've got 23 women who came uh, under the single constituency. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, three governors mm -hmm. out of 47. That's less than 10%. Mm -hmm. The 23 women, again, mm -hmm. uh, without the 47 women reps would have been so, we would have very insignificant number of women. Just look mm -hmm. at Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I'm the only, uh, I'm a woman rep. Yes. 17 constituencies in Nairobi, you only had Masika mm -hmm. One mm -hmm. out of 17. Mm -hmm. uh, 85 wards in Nairobi, you had only five women come in. Mm -hmm. The counties have been able to follow the constitution and do a top up. Mm -hmm. Now people look at that as a burden, mm -hmm. but the whole system mm -hmm. uh, might be a burden, mm -hmm. not just the women. Mm -hmm. The fact that the political parties are not able mm -hmm. to use the funding they get from government mm -hmm. to ensure that they actually build the space of women. Mm -hmm. Now the politics of Kenya is about money. Mm -hmm. If you go and you're asking for seats, mm -hmm. there's two things. Mm -hmm. Either you have performed, which mm -hmm. requires money, mm -hmm. you've helped with funerals, you've helped with school fees, you've helped with, with uh, burials, mm -hmm. you've helped with medical, mm -hmm. you've helped with when the house is burned, you mm -hmm. go and see. Mm -hmm. All that requires resources. Mm -hmm. Now the women don't have that kind of resource. Mm -hmm. Now, political parties can put a fund mm -hmm. to address an issue, whether it's SGBV, whether it's economic empowerment, mm -hmm. for the, even for, for the nominated. But mm -hmm. you'll find mm -hmm. that the majority in the county government mm -hmm. who are nominated mm -hmm. will never allow mm -hmm. for funding for women oh. to gain their space. Okay. So you'll find that in the end, the mm -hmm. woman is coming in without any resources. Mm -hmm. How is she going to get the votes? Mm -hmm. And the voting of Kenya is about handouts. Mm -hmm. It's the way we've been cultured. Mm -hmm. So again, she doesn't have that money to go and give handouts. Mm -hmm. So the man will come with a big bag of money mm -hmm. and of course, that's what happened in Embakasi when I stood. Mm -hmm. There was, I mean, we saw uh, the, the candidate I was against mm -hmm. had pockets of money in, mm -hmm. his, in his socks. Mm -hmm. So our politics is about money. Mm -hmm. It's about what have you done for us. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think I got the Mama Ta title. I was a businesswoman. Yes. I was able to mm -hmm. gain support mm -hmm. and that made it easy for me to gain my seat. And of course, I had vied three times, four times before. Mm -hmm. So I feel that we need to have a law mm -hmm. that allows women to be brought in. Mm -hmm. And when they are brought in, they will earn a salary, mm -hmm. they will hopefully get some funding. Like the woman rep has a gov fund. Mm -hmm. So you're able to fill me. Yeah. But you can see it is so little. I get 7 million shillings per constituency. Mm -hmm. My male counter counterpart gets 100 million. Mm -hmm. You actually fill me mm -hmm. because with my money. Mm -hmm. But you, you know, so I'm saying that they will never allow us to get the 100 million mm -hmm. or anywhere close to that mm -hmm. because they know mm -hmm. that we will do so much more as women mm -hmm. and then their seats will be relinquished. Okay. So the men, the boy all boys club mm -hmm. is out to protect themselves i see the boys club is out to protect <laughs> themselves i know melanie has a lot to say when it comes to that but let me first allow the bishop to mm -hmm. comment a little bit do you believe that the, the, the two-thirds gender bill is going to affect the advancement of women yeah if it is not passed mm -hmm. it's going to mm -hmm. affect mm -hmm. i i want to say that um women ministry as for the church we call it women ministry mm -hmm. it's very vital and uh, remember a house or a family with a woman mm -hmm. usually is very stable. Mm -hmm. The family with a man uh, has cracks mm -hmm. very many times. I usually give an example of my, uh, my daughter who is below 15 and my son who is 16. Mm -hmm. 
when my daughter comes to the house in the evening, he finds a glass on the table, he asks me, Dad, are you still using the glass? If I say no, then she's not seeing the need for the glass to be on the table. But my son comes, uh, say hi, Dad, jumps on the seat, uh, takes the remote, start uh, watching the TV. Mm -hmm. And see, and uh, it's, it's just in inside, actually. It's naturally inside. And I realized that my wife is, um, uh, 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 is doing a lot to the, uh, to the boy. Mm -hmm. You wash the dishes, do like this, but my daughter is just flowing. Mm -hmm. be below 15, but flowing with everything in the house. Sometimes I wonder, what, what, what is this? And uh, so I believe that um, and if she, she will be empowered, mm -hmm. then I am very sure I have a daughter who will be resourceful, even for me in the late age. But my son, the way she's, he's going, <laughs> I don't know, it could be a problem like me. Uh -huh. But what I believe is that the uh, gender, the third gender rule uh, should be uh, passed. Mm -hmm. It's a bill that we need. Mm -hmm. uh, some of us from the religious leaders, we were so much disappointed mm -hmm. because we were looking forward. Mm -hmm. And remember now the church has accepted the women to be in leadership. That's why we even have women bishops, we have women pastors, we have women um, um, uniting marriages because that's what the holy books are telling us to do. And therefore I, I support that and I wish the government would take some, some control and give us the third gender bill rule so that we are able to move forward. That would be my comment. Okay, so we have one Mary Liz in the house today. And you, if you don't know that, on 8th of March, there will be a big match against uh, femicide, to protest femicide, and also to create awareness. Mary Liz, however, I know that you guys have something to say when it comes to this gender bill of things. Yeah. So uh, let's hear from you. Uh, first of all, I'll start by saying at this point, women are empowered. What we need is what Esther Pasaris has said very eloquently. We need women to be enabled because then when a woman is empowered but she's given seven million to work with and a man who is empowered is given a hundred million to work with, she's literally disabled. She can't be able to do her work properly. Mm -hmm. And so we need women to be enabled. Enabled in the sense that we need the two-thirds gender rule to mm -hmm. pass so that mm -hmm. women can have that open platform mm -hmm. to be able to access these uh, political positions and spaces. Mm -hmm. It's only when they can be able to, to access these spaces mm -hmm. that they can be able to take part in important issue, issues to do with women matters because then yes women matters are matters that need to be taken seriously because currently we are dying in the hands of our country we are dying in the hands of our men mm -hmm. we are dying in the hands of our government mm -hmm. we are dying in the hands of everything that is supposed to be what means protection to a human being mm -hmm. and so then we need those persons to be able to sit there mm -hmm. to be able to get a platform to speak life to our issues because mm -hmm. our issues are there and I acknowledge that we have allies we have men who can speak life to our yeah. issues yeah. how However, we can't run away from the fact that no matter how much a man is an ally, mm -hmm. a man has never lived his life as a woman. Mm -hmm. And so a woman has to be there to speak her truth about her issues, mm -hmm. for those issues to be taken seriously. And so we do need that space. And it's really disappointing mm -hmm. that the only reason we couldn't have gender bill passed is because of quorum. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is such a disappointing thing because then mm -hmm. that in a clear picture, black and white, mm -hmm. no shenanigans, mm -hmm. it says people are not concerned and are not bothered. Mm -hmm. Then the question that begs, mm -hmm. How is it possible that we have a government mm -hmm. that is unbothered about 50 plus percentage of its popula population? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, interesting. I think, I think um, Pasaris, would you like to respond? Yes. I mean, first of all, mm -hmm. I want to say, look at Mary Lee's, mm -hmm. all right? Yeah. Mary Lee's works in the grassroots, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Look at the way she's eloquent. Look at the way she speaks. She's already a leader. Mm -hmm. We have no shortage of good women leaders. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure by the time we're done today and every woman here mm -hmm. speaks, mm -hmm. you will see that the woman has a voice. Yes. She understands her issues. Mm -hmm. She understands her solutions. Mm -hmm. And we need to empower her. Mm -hmm. Now, for Mary Lee's, to achieve uh, what she wants to achieve, her mm -hmm. dream, her vision. Mm -hmm. She needs an enabling an envi environment, mm -hmm. an environment that respects who she is, mm -hmm. how she thinks, mm -hmm. what she wants, mm -hmm. all right? And, and I feel that's what's lacking. Mm -hmm. And now when I take that to the parliament mm -hmm. and I try and champion for Mary Lee's, mm -hmm. I don't have the numbers, mm -hmm. all right? Now, there's been this talk about the fact that women themselves were not there, women are their own worst enemies. Mm -hmm. Men have got this way of trying to make us look like we are, we are our own obstacle. Yes. I want to tell you something. We had 59 women mm -hmm. in parliament. Mm -hmm. so we had one or two that were not well, mm -hmm. okay? And we had a few that had traveled to do very, very good things, mm -hmm. okay? Conferences in out, outside the country representing mm -hmm. issues of women mm -hmm. and issues of, uh, of society. Mm -hmm. So 
But for me, where were the men? Where was the Jubilee government? Mm -hmm. Because you know, you didn't even need opposition to be there. Mm -hmm. Jubilee on its own, mm -hmm. and this was a government bill, mm -hmm. Jubilee on its own has the numbers to have passed whatever it is they wanted. Mm -hmm. They could run the government without us, mm -hmm. okay, without the, without the opposition. Mm -hmm. But the opposition was there. Mm -hmm. Jubilee is where we failed. Mm -hmm. So this handshake, mm -hmm. this handshake for mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. needs to be about the right things. Mm -hmm. The first of all, respect the constitution. Mm -hmm. Second thing, unite the country. Mm -hmm. I am disturbed, as I'm sure all of you are disturbed, mm -hmm. because the handshake is about bringing all our communities together. Mm -hmm. When I look at what we are circulating on, on, on WhatsApp, mm -hmm. what we are circulating on the social media, mm -hmm. I have a feeling that Uhuru mm -hmm. and Raila need to revisit the handshake, mm -hmm. because this handshake now seems to be dividing us, mm -hmm. not uniting us. All right. If we if we if we are not careful, mm -hmm. the tension that is building mm -hmm. is going to harm this country. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make peace with the Luo community mm -hmm. and the Kikuyu community, mm -hmm. but we're going to divide the Kikuyus mm -hmm. from the Kalenjins. Mm -hmm. We are not achieving peace. Mm -hmm. I think I appeal to Baba. Mm -hmm. Baba, you're an old man. Mm -hmm. You are a seasoned politician. Mm -hmm. Be the father that this nation needs. Mm -hmm. If we're talking corruption, mm -hmm. I do not believe that there's anybody. Mm -hmm in this country mm -hmm. who has been in leadership, mm -hmm. past and present, mm -hmm. who has not dipped their hands in the cookie jar. Mm -hmm. Everybody has been corrupt, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And you know, some of the questions that are being asked by the leaders that mm -hmm. support the deputy president mm -hmm. cannot be ignored, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. Some of the, pres uh, the, 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 the deals that the president had with, with, uh, with, uh, with uh, uh, the deputy president, mm -hmm. the, you know, the 10 you and 10 me, mm -hmm. is the same thing that Kibaki had with Raila, mm -hmm. and he did do it the memorandum mm -hmm. so i'm saying that they has i'm, I'm, I'm worried mm -hmm. i'm kikuyu mm -hmm. all right and i'm in the opposition mm -hmm. i've had issues of my own community mm -hmm. because why are you with them mm -hmm. all right but right now i'm worried mm -hmm. because as a community mm -hmm. the kikuyus are going to be perceived mm -hmm. as people that cannot keep their word well, right. Mr. Shimiwa, today we would not really want to do well on this. On, on, no, on, I know, on, I on know. But you see, the thing is, the 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 the, the audience that is sitting mm -hmm, here mm -hmm. are concerned mm -hmm. about the future of this country. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants bloodshed. Mm -hmm. These are the same people that, in the, in where they live, they'll be the ones raped. Mm -hmm. They'll be the ones uh, 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 maimed. Mm -hmm. They'll be the ones having their property destroyed. Mm -hmm. This country mm -hmm. has so many issues, mm -hmm. and I think it is important mm -hmm. that the, since the majority is youth. Yes. Right, it is the same youth who are sambaza in mm -hmm. these very horrible messages. Mm -hmm. You know, social media is deadly, mm -hmm. it is deadly. Mm -hmm. We're trying to have peace, mm -hmm. and yet we're having heightened tension. Mm -hmm. All right, I feel that there's time for us to really revisit as a country. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. if we're going to deal with corruption. Mm -hmm. That's true. We need to deal with corruption. It is the reason we have poverty. Mm -hmm. But we cannot be seen mm -hmm. to be ganging up against one community. Yes, yes, yes. Because I'm telling you right now, mm -hmm. it is not just the deputy president. Mm -hmm. It is, there are some, there are some Kikuyus, there are some Luos, there are some Ukambas, there are mm -hmm. some uh, Kalenjis, there are some other uh, Somalis mm -hmm. who have been ingrained in corruption. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying as a country mm -hmm. for the youth, mm -hmm. we need to talk honestly about the current issues, mm -hmm the gender bill, mm -hmm. respect of the constitution, mm -hmm. corruption, mm -hmm. let's not look like we're ganging up against one community. Okay. And then also about youth empowerment. Mm -hmm. Youth empowerment is affected by corruption. In fact, in fact, in fact, I'm glad you brought up the issue of it's the youth that are going to face some of these issues. It's the youth that are being raped. In fact, in the room today, we have um, uh, uh, women political movements that have been gearing up to make some changes here. And we have uh, She Decides Kenya represented mm -hmm. here as well. And they had a conference uh, this particular weekend in which they were talking about the fundamental rights of women, especially when it comes to their health and their sexual reproductive health rights and the amendments that need to be made when it comes to this particular bill. So I wanted to understand from you, Mheshmiwa, and the Bishop especially, when it comes to the current sexual uh, health uh, rights situation, are we at the best, we, is it catering for us as women or is it doing us a disservice? Let me tell you, we've, we've just passed, we've passed mm -hmm. after a long, long wait yes. mm -hmm. with interference from the Catholic Church, mm -hmm. the abortion guidelines. Yes. We cannot avoid abortion. Mm -hmm. Abortion is always going to be with us mm -hmm. for very many reasons. Mm -hmm. One, medical conditions. Mm -hmm. A woman, sometimes her health, the health of her baby is in danger. Mm -hmm. Two, a young girl, mm -hmm. 12, 13, she starts menstruating, 9, 10, 11. Mm -hmm. She's raped. Mm -hmm. She's pregnant. Mm -hmm. She's a child. Mm -hmm. 
when she has that child, mm -hmm. everything is destroyed. Mm -hmm. Fistula operations, which they don't have money to uh, to 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 endure the operations. Uh -huh. Government is not providing funds for it. Mm -hmm. She is a child. She's not ready to be a mom. Mm -hmm. Then there is a young teenage girl mm -hmm. who has her her sexual desires. Mm -hmm. Okay, at 15, 16, mm -hmm. and then she she has a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. They love each other. It's normal. Yes, to love your your boy. The boy loves girl. Mm -hmm. They they end up pre pregnant, mm -hmm. but they were not. They were in school. Mm -hmm. They end up they are pregnant mm -hmm. because they had unprotected sex. Mm -hmm. All right, but even with protected sex, you can still get pregnant. Mm -hmm. All right. So for me, mm -hmm. recently in Westlands, just uh, I mean, every day we hear about a child being found in a dumpster. Yes. Just last week mm -hmm. we found a child in Westlands mm -hmm. who. Now they're looking for the mother who threw this child in a paper bag, yeah. all right, mm -hmm. uh, so that they can arrest her. Mm -hmm. No. The idea is she threw this child in a paper bag because she didn't want the child. Mm -hmm. And we as a government have failed to understand. Mm -hmm. I am so happy mm -hmm. that uh, Mary Stops, which was stopped from conducting a ba safe abortions, yes. was allowed to. Mm -hmm. We saw our human rights defender mm -hmm. procure an unsafe abortion, mm -hmm. all right, mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and, and, and died. Mm -hmm. All right, here we lost somebody that the country couldn't afford to lose. Mm -hmm. So I am saying that as a country, mm -hmm. we need to understand mm -hmm. that safe abortions are necessary. Mm -hmm. If, for instance, mm -hmm. I... Wait, wait, first, Meshibima, before you continue, well, I want the She Decides members to at least say yes. something about uh, their movement, then we can respond accordingly. Especially because I also want to get the perspective of the church, mm -hmm. because the mm -hmm. church is what was um, oh, yeah. the, the biggest... We are, we are a stumbling block, actually. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. please. Um, good morning, once again. Good mm -hmm. morning. My name is Mikreen, and uh, mm -hmm. once again, I'm so happy to be in the audience and in this space. Mm -hmm. Now, coming back down to She Decides, mm -hmm. She Decides is a global movement, mm -hmm. but the Kenyan chapter was just launched like some two days ago. Mm -hmm. She decides basically mm -hmm. advocates and fights for the women's rights mm -hmm. when it comes to reproductive autonomy. Yes. Women's rights to their bodies mm -hmm. without question. Mm -hmm. Let me underline that. Mm -hmm. Because um, as much as we are really um, we are really uh, we are really boasting ourselves or we are building ourselves to be enshrined in the constitution and the national, international human rights. We say human rights are inalienable. Mm -hmm. And in the concept of talking of inalienability, mm -hmm. women's health, mm -hmm. most especially reproductive health, mm -hmm. have been alienated from them. Mm -hmm. It's a right that the society, that the government has been taking for them, I mean from them, mm -hmm. making decisions on a woman's body. Mm -hmm. It was so dependent on so many other factors. Mm -hmm. What are men saying about our women's body? Mm -hmm. What are men saying when it comes to access to contraceptives, when it comes to pregnancy? Mm -hmm. Women historically have never mm -hmm or hardly mm -hmm. made decisions when it comes to their reproductive health care. Mm -hmm. So she decides is a movement that advocates for women's rights to reproductive autonomy, mm -hmm. women's rights of their bodies, mm -hmm. and choice. Mm -hmm. Choice is so important. Mm -hmm. Choice, the aspect that no one, mm -hmm. not the government, mm -hmm. not the men, mm -hmm. not the society, mm -hmm. can take from them. So in a nutshell, she decides is a movement that advocates for women's reproductive health autonomy. Okay, so let's now talk to the clergy. Let's hear, let's hear what the bishop has to say when it comes. Wow, th this, this, is, this is really very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, I, I want to share with the audience that uh, we have a, a forum called Gospel Parliament, mm -hmm. and we discuss these issues with pastors. Mm -hmm. uh, I think in our parliament, uh, we, have, uh, uh, we have discussed several issues. Mm -hmm. uh, the LGBTI community, we have discussed the, the gender-based violence, mm -hmm. And we also discussed the women, mm -hmm. but I think reproductive health mm -hmm. is a big issue that we also have mm -hmm. in, our, in our motion mm -hmm. that we are discussing. Mm -hmm. Our fear mm -hmm. is that uh, the church mm -hmm. and the holy books that we read mm -hmm. has some guidelines on how to conduct mm -hmm. certain issues. Mm -hmm. and, and therefore, because of that, mm -hmm. As a clergy, mm -hmm. I will use that book mm -hmm. um, appropriately to deliver mm -hmm. what uh, maybe the, 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 the church want to hear from me. Mm -hmm. But sincerely speaking, mm -hmm. things are happening. Mm -hmm. And this is where I say, this is why we began our parliament, mm -hmm. so that the, the things that we have issues with, mm -hmm. can we discuss them? Yes, we know mm -hmm. uh, the Bible uh, talks life begins at the conception, mm -hmm. and so you cannot terminate it. We, we all understand that. But what if that life 
life mm -hmm. has come in a wrong time. Mm -hmm. It has come in a time that is not accepted. What do we do with it? Or if the career of that life mm -hmm. has an issue, what do we do? So uh, yes, the Bible says I, that life should not be termina terminated. Mm -hmm. But now, as a human being, what do I do? Mm -hmm. So these are some of the issues that mm -hmm. we, 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 we talk about mm -hmm. and agree and say, yes, these are some of the challenges we are facing mm -hmm. and we can advise. And therefore, me, I believe that the church should be able to advise mm -hmm. where appropriate, mm -hmm. give uh, options, mm -hmm and leave for someone to decide whether this is what I need in my life. And uh, that is actually what I believe in as, as a clergy. I'm saying like that because we come from different theological backgrounds. Mm. Some come from Baptists, some mm. come from Catholics, some from the SDS, mm. some from the Radical Pentecostals. Mm. And re remember, even this time, as a church, we have an issue with the divine healing of HIV. Mm -hmm. uh, because we tell people to throw away drugs, even after seeing what, what ARV has done to somebody, you still insist mm. to Padawa. Mm. And, and you see, those are some of the issues that we must discuss as clergy, mm. disagree to agree, but come up with a solution. So I want to agree with the, with the she decides mm -hmm. that um, a woman should be given mm -hmm. a safe space to decide. Of course, I, I, I have never seen. In fact, we have never, I've never, we have never asked women, "What are you doing with your life?" <laughs> we only, uh, we only demand something small from them, mm -hmm. and uh, of course. <laughs> That's all. Uh, usually that's what men demand. Mm -hmm. But uh, there, there's, there's really freedom mm -hmm. for women mm -hmm. to decide on what they want. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes conditions force them mm -hmm. to come and ask. Mm -hmm. So I, I think all, th all this one, mm -hmm. um, you will agree with me, goes to empowerment. Mm -hmm. If a woman is empowered and given resources, mm -hmm. this woman can really control what she wants mm -hmm. and can even say, say, yes, listen here, Bishop, today I don't want a child. I want a child two years to come. Mm -hmm. And I will obey because... Uh, uh, I, I will not stand with saying utakula kwa sababu mekatalia hii mm -hmm. uh, utafanya hii sababu mekatalia hii mm -hmm. so I, I know other clergy may not agree with me but as the speaker of gospel parliament those are some of the tough issues mm -hmm. that we really agree to disagree mm -hmm. and uh, some we support mm -hmm. some we say no mm -hmm. some we divert from the holy books remember in the holy book there are some which uh, the bible says that Paul says I say as Paul Mm -hmm. Some I say as so and so, mm -hmm. and some said as I, uh, Jesus Himself talk about this. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the boundaries that we are looking for. We harmonize them, mm -hmm. and therefore we help our community to live mm -hmm. a life that can give them hope, mm -hmm. even as they go. That's, those are some of the comments that I, I would. But the church has been a hindrance and a roadblock for so many things, which uh, I, I want to accept. It is a reality, and it's just because we come from different uh, theological background. But if we can join hand in our gospel. Parliament, I believe we can come up with a solution. But sorry, so you needed to visit us one of these days. No, you know, you know, you know, I'll tell you what, we put so much money, we put so much money mm -hmm. on condoms, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right? Oh. But we never put so much money on female condoms. Mm -hmm. We never put so much money mm -hmm. on, uh, on, 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 uh, on sanitary towels. We've mm -hmm. never put so much money on commodities, mm -hmm. birth control commodities. Mm -hmm. And what the result of that is a lot of street families. Mm -hmm. The result of that, you saw what was happening in Nakuru. Yeah. You're putting them in the forest at night. Those oh, are kids. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't you just give those women family planning? Yeah. Because they were obviously born by someone who yeah. doesn't want them. Yeah. All the orphanages in Nairobi are filled with children. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure if we did the DNA, we will find it's probably the same woman who cannot access birth control, mm -hmm. either because she has no education or it's not available. Mm -hmm. We have left the management of the reproductive health mm -hmm. rights of a woman to the donors. Yeah. And now, and the major donor was America. Mm -hmm. And now that we have Trump on the uh, in the office, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully not for very long, yes. uh, we, 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 we are not getting the commodities we want. Mm -hmm. But uh, having said that, I'd like the bishop to talk about the church that he went to to, to preach yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We shared when we were at the reception. Mm -hmm. uh, he was preaching to a church mm -hmm. of LGBT. Mm -hmm. And in this country, our president, when Barack Obama came, mm -hmm. said LGBT was not an issue. Mm -hmm. We want, don't want to discuss it. Mm -hmm. It is an issue. Mm -hmm. We have a huge LGBT society. Mm -hmm. And for me, they're getting raped, they're getting ostracized, they're getting uh, emotionally traumatized, mm -hmm. you know, and I feel that's an even bigger problem. Mm -hmm. So we have this society. The bishop here mm -hmm. went went yesterday to preach mm -hmm. on a Sunday mm -hmm. to the LGBT community in a church. Mm -hmm. So for me, I would love 
mm-hmm. us as Kenyans to stop playing judge. Yes. I said judgment is for God and God alone. Mm-hmm. Us is to live mm-hmm. it with God and God is love. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I have a lot of gay friends, mm-hmm. a lot, mm-hmm. and I don't judge them. Mm-hmm. And they're really good human beings. Mm-hmm. The Anglican Church mm-hmm. actually all, uh, said they could have gay priests, mm-hmm. and the priests are doing a good job, mm-hmm. all right? Mm-hmm. But they're gay. Mm-hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, mm-hmm. uh, I think it's important for us to recognize. Mm-hmm. And people say, oh, you're the Western ways, Western ways. No. Yes. Mm-hmm. It has been there mm-hmm. and it will be there mm-hmm. uh, until the end. Yes. So I think God, you know, God, God loved, um, what was it, King David. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he loved Solomon. Mm-hmm. And so. they did <laughs> crazy <laughs> things. <laughs> crazy things, you know. And, and God said the reason he loved him mm-hmm. because it was his heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was God was looking at what a man for my oh, for mm-hmm. my heart. What mm-hmm. was it? A man after after, after, after my, my own heart. Yes. He could see the love mm-hmm. that David had for him, mm-hmm. and it did it wrote off all the wrongs that David did according mm-hmm. to society. Mm-hmm. So I feel mm-hmm. that God only mm-hmm. knows what's in the heart. Mm-hmm. The relationship of spirituality, whether you go to heaven or earth, mm-hmm. is only with the man who has judgment or the woman who has judgment. Because mm-hmm. the Messiah okay. believe God is a woman. Mm-hmm. So. Um, oh, I, I, yeah. oh, exactly. Yes. So we have a God here. Yeah. So, so, so for me, for me, for me, I honestly want us to accept and mm-hmm. be tolerant mm-hmm. with each other. Mm-hmm. And the tolerance, if we build tolerance, mm-hmm. you know, like even when Aisha Juma was removed. Wait first, before for me, we, before tolerance. We carry on with mm-hmm. Aisha Juma. Mm-hmm. Um, there, there are ladies over here who have experienced that form of judgment, even sure, not only sure. from the, mm-hmm. from, from not only from society, but even from the church. From the church. And um, we made sure we represent them here. We have one Miss President over there, Bright Star Kasioka, who was told she's too young to be to be her leader. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Yes. Well, you look petite, but, but you can lead. Yes, maybe you were height. <laughs> yeah, maybe the height. Then we have one CKN over there who have been kidnapping students in school, mm-hmm. uh, uh, students at home in their village uh, to make sure that they're able to go to school sure, because these sure. girls are either mm-hmm. kidnapped or booked, or, uh, sorry, booked uh, from birth just to go to the, go through the cuts and not get an education. Then we have Miss Samba here who's from the arts. Uh, Let's have them all speak. Yes, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's yes, very yes. Because yes. yes. uh, there, the story mm-hmm. of how uh, artists are being, um, mm-hmm. female artists are being ostracized for wanting to dress the way they want to and, t- and tell them to tell what yeah. what wh- where really the church is is hindering them yes, from growing want them to talk please to please you. tell me so that <laughs> I will represent you yes. I will tell them I will tell them everything so let us start with right <laughs> men of God okay on discrimination <laughs> um, I happened to go to school very very young so mm-hmm. by 19 I was graduating that wow. last year December mm-hmm. and I was a student leader in Masena and if I explain my experiences with discrimination has been quite a lot mm-hmm. when I started buying the first time I was told what a toa and you know I'm very passionate about kids so sometimes they have a pussy cat so and then even in some leadership a big leadership forums I apply and then maybe someone tells me you know Bryce you're very very young I, at 20 you should be doing other things go out party you know and start trying these things when you're 25 <laughs> so I feel it's uh, it's not even um, a discrimination because of your gender or mm-hmm. because of even age mm-hmm. it comes up sometimes mm-hmm. or, or, or and I'm, I'm sure as the person is you face this a lot you're so pretty mm-hmm. and, and you're told ah you're so pretty you know women should not be pretty and in leadership mm-hmm. and I'm like uh, so someone told me even the other day you just go try singing that's where you fit because you sort of um, very pretty and people will never take you seriously and then again your voice is very high you know <laughs> so I think discrimination but I think as a woman or as a man whatever if you get discriminated in society sometimes it's upon you to stand mm-hmm. I have been here today because I've stood up and I said no no one is going to define me mm-hmm. I mean I might be young I might have not that big experiences when it comes to leadership but the little I have I'll show you and I can speak so I think sometimes it's upon you to define you because the society is cruel sometimes people don't even care they will try to pull you down they'll try to tell you you are nothing but you know what most of these people even in social media will bring people down are so frustrated with their own lives mm-hmm. you know they're yes, just really? trying to go down with you in the same room you should not listen yeah. to them and that's the advice i preach every day even to children you know i tell them the society might not approve of you but look at me i'm doing things because i believe in myself and i believe in god so Women who are here, please keep up. And I'm so proud of you. Yeah. A lot of people have really, uh, you know, you, your beauty. Actually, 
actually that was the main thing that was always coming up, you know. I don't know what but, but you that. made it That's today. Perfect. I mean and you've shown every young person it doesn't matter the society, what do they think about you, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter the social prejudices, what some of things it's upon you to define yourself. And that's the advice I have for every young person who is watching and every young person who has ever been discriminated. If you are gay, if you are disabled, if you have any challenge, just define yourself and raise against it. But the Apple CEO, Tim Cook, is a gay man, but he's doing so much as an Apple CEO. <laughs> so I think we should give him the space to pay. <laughs> the Apple CEO is a gay man. Yeah. But let me tell you, a point that she made, a point that she made that I really love, mm -hmm. the people that uh, have something negative to say, especially on social media, mm -hmm. the people that insult you all the time and, have, mm -hmm. and hold the moral card on you, mm -hmm. they themselves are so frustrated. Mm -hmm. Don't we just love blocks? No. <laughs> Block them. Block them. <laughs> Before we leave that conversation, I think Miss Summer should have an opportunity oh, yes, to say something oh, yes, about should that. Say we're marginalizing the male gender. Mm, mm, <laughs> yes, and then we need to talk to the men who are here. Mm, Hi everyone, my name is Brenda Samba, mm -hmm. aka Miss Samba. Mm -hmm. I'm an artist, mm -hmm. and today I'm here. I'd like to talk about the challenges that we female artists, you know, go through in this pre mm -hmm. <laughs> in this industry that is uh, predominantly male. Mm -hmm. So the first issue mm -hmm. is sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. See, for instance, I've released a new video, and I'd like to push it. Mm -hmm. I have to reach out to DJs, I have to reach out to radio presenters, TV presenters. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them are male. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you reach out to them, most of them are like, okay, now you have to do something for me in order for me to play your music or oh, wow. in order for me to do this for you. Mm -hmm. You have to do for me something in return, mm -hmm. which is very frustrating. And that's why most female artists mm -hmm. uh, end up quitting because, because we're not taken seriously. Mm -hmm. The men look down upon you. Mm -hmm. You're not taken seriously at all. Like for instance, I was um, at Citizen just last weekend. Mm -hmm. I was called for the interview, but when I went there, they switched the interview. I was supposed to go with uh, the artist that I, I, uh, I featured in my song. Mm -hmm. What they did is that they switched the interview, the interview became his, and then now he introduced Ooh. me. It was very, very, very frustrating for me. And and then most of the time when you're trying to when you're going to, you know, perform live music or when you're about to do a show, we are patronized as women. People are like, Are you sure the mic is loud enough? Are you sure you can are you sure you're okay? Are you not nervous? Like we're not taken seriously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, the government is not helping at all. Uh, for instance, uh, the government is stuck in the traditional mindset that uh, artistry is just a way of expressing yourself and that's it. Mm -hmm. They don't take it as a serious business. Mm -hmm. Let's take, for instance, the, the Music Copyright Society of Kenya. Mm -hmm. They don't do anything to help the artists. Mm -hmm. um, the Music uh, Copyright Society of Kenya is the body that oversees uh, the royalties from airplay for the artists. Mm -hmm. What they do is that they collect this money, mm -hmm. they don't hand it over to the artists. Mm -hmm. So basically the, the Kenyan um, artist is really suffering. And then because you're left at the mercy of the Yeah, you're left at the mercy of the producers. And yourself. yeah, so a lot okay. really needs to be done, mm -hmm. um, especially the government, because I think the government is the only solution here. Okay. To be honest, yeah. the sadness is we've had so much problems with the Copyright Society oh, of yes. Kenya. There's a time they looked good, they had a big PR event where they were giving out <laughs> checks and we thought, wow, yeah. finally they've got it right. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I must admit that I haven't really paid much attention to that. I've mm -hmm. been looking at how we can improve the arts. Yes. Um, I, I, and I really feel Akothe has shown a path mm -hmm. yeah. where you can, yeah. you can do it on, online, mm -hmm. yeah. you can do it online, you can book your shows, you can own your, sh your state, mm -hmm. and she's become very successful. Mm -hmm. And now we say, oh, you're a role model, you can't do this. Again, yeah. we're trying to bring her down. Yeah. I say, go, go, go. She runs a Kote Safaris. Mm -hmm. She's educated her children to university. Mm -hmm. She is a proud single mother. She calls yes. herself president of single mothers. <laughs> and we have a lot of single mothers. Yes. I'm saying that social media platform, mm -hmm. and then we also have to find a way that we cure this. Mm -hmm. And for the media houses, when my daughter was singing mm -hmm. uh, at 16, mm -hmm. um, I, I, I tried, I myself, to get her CD played in the radio stations. Mm -hmm. And again, I realized that it was about exchanging money. I even complained to, to one of the radio stations mm -hmm. that, why do I have to pay for you to play my daughter's CD? Yeah. You know, so we do have corruption in media, mm -hmm. a lot of corruption in media. We do have corruption in government. Mm -hmm. We do have corruption in public entities. Mm -hmm. Kenya is basically corrupt, corrupt, corrupt. Mm -hmm. We think, sleep, eat corruption. <laughs> and to change that will require a complete mindset, mm -hmm. all right? And the future generation is you mm -hmm. that keeps standing up and fighting against it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's a journey that's begun and it cannot lose momentum. Mm -hmm. It has to continue. Mm -hmm. So for 
me, the people that say, oh, corruption is about our community. No, mm -hmm. it's not about your community. Mm -hmm. if, your commu if we can prove, if the DCI can prove without reasonable doubt mm -hmm. that the person has actually stolen public funds, mm -hmm. I want you to arrest the person, charge the person, mm -hmm. and do it quickly. Okay. The judiciary has to uh, ha says that most of the times they cannot charge somebody with corruption because mm -hmm. of um, because there's not enough evidence. evidence. We need to do this. Mm -hmm. So for me, music uh, lovers and music uh, uh, mm -hmm. you, for you, mm -hmm. take take them to court mm -hmm. and let's try and see if we can get somewhere with that. And I'll be happy to help out with that. Yeah. I like that. Take them to court, Brenda. That's <laughs> yeah, I'd also like to touch on. Um, the dress code. Yes. We female artists are judged a lot. Mm -hmm. well, when you post a picture of yourself, maybe in a mini skirt or a crop top, mm -hmm. people judge you. You'll start hearing comments like, oh, she's sleeping with the producers for money. She's <laughs> sleeping with someone to do this. Oh, there's no way she'd have gotten to that level without mm -hmm. sleeping with someone. Mm -hmm. Those comments are very, very frustrating. And it even becomes more frustrating when it's coming from fellow women. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about women empowerment. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we women need to do better. Mm -hmm. I'm sure everyone in this room has had uh, an encounter, mm -hmm. a bad encounter with a female. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's very frustrating because we s men use this all the time against us. They mm -hmm. tell us, oh, women, you're, you're, you are your own enemies, yes. which to some extent is it's true. true. It's very true. Mm -hmm. We need to start, let's, let's have our own club mm -hmm. and let's hold each other's hands and let's support each other. Let's stop sabotaging each other. I let's like just that. be happy for one another. And that way, we're going to be able to beat these men. I like the fact we just have to be united. I like the fact that you said we need to hold hands and stand together. Yeah, we need to hold hands. So can you move the microphone back to the... No, the, the man, the man, the man. No, no, no. What, something the is wrong with the man. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait, the man, oh, God. Something is wrong with the man. The man yeah. Thank I'm you so, so much. I'll be here for you, the man. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried you were about to speak, uh, all of you, and then we end up not speaking. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy. Thank you so much. My name is Arnold. Uh -huh. I'm a youth champion mm -hmm. for sustainable development goal three mm -hmm. and five um, quality education mm -hmm. and gender equality mm -hmm. so I'm very happy to support um, our sisters mm -hmm. um, in make su making sure that their lives become better and mm -hmm. um, let me enlighten you on something mm -hmm. according to the last demographic health survey mm -hmm. it shows that um, one in five girls mm -hmm. aged between 15 and 19 mm -hmm. has already has had a baby mm -hmm. or is pregnant with their first child. Wow. That is not something we smile about as Kenyans. Why are you so passionate about women? Because I, I would like to make a difference in the world. Mm -hmm. Not so many young men mm -hmm. are willing to do such advocacy mm -hmm. like supporting young women and, and, and other women to move masses mm -hmm. to create impact in the community mm -hmm. so i'm driven mm -hmm. to see a world where mm -hmm. uh, women and men can equally access opportunities mm -hmm. resources mm -hmm. and be able to get education mm -hmm. until they achieve their dreams oh. and thank you so much for being here and thank you for standing with the women today <laughs> that's great you're welcome all right so thank also you. as we are holding hands please can we go to sick at the back we cannot forget our sisters from my mm. yes Yes, my name is Sekian Letura. Let me repeat that because people tend to forget my name. <laughs> <laughs> I work with and for Nashipai mm -hmm. Maasai Community Project, mm -hmm. which is a CBO mm -hmm. that is focusing on restoring a school mm -hmm. in Kajado West. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm allowed to comment on everything. Please so I'll it. go back to the gender bill. Mm -hmm. That I I only wa I want to say that men are only afraid mm -hmm. because women mm -hmm. do so much with so little mm -hmm. and they cannot be they cannot imagine having us having so much. They cannot imagine what we will do. They I like that. We do so much with so, so little. little. <laughs> <laughs> they cannot be they cannot imagine mm -hmm as having much mm -hmm. because they think we will overthrow them mm -hmm. but the time is coming mm -hmm. also i want to s talk about discrimination mm -hmm. okay uh, uh, when you work with women mm -hmm. you will get discriminated mm -hmm. you'll be you'll get discriminated mm -hmm. because in where I, especially where i come from mm -hmm. women are property mm -hmm. You, s you can go to a house mm -hmm. and borrow a girl, like, can I have your girl? Let me go and use her to mm -hmm. look after my cattle mm -hmm. or, or hold my babies. Mm -hmm. 
So it, for us, as mm-hmm. Maasai women, mm-hmm. we, we get a lot of discrimination. Mm-hmm. Okay, the support is here on the ground, but mm-hmm. in the grassroots, mm-hmm. there's a lot of discrimination mm-hmm. because you you are left to do the work alone. The churches will sit on the fence, mm-hmm. the men will sit on the fence, mm-hmm. and the, the women mm-hmm. who do that work mm-hmm. will will just do the work alone. And our youth, especially youth from Masailand, mm-hmm. they just don't. Ma- the Maasai men especially, mm-hmm. let me just say men, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. but men, mm-hmm. they just don't do anything at all. So I you guys w- have decided to take matters into your own Yes, hands. because God is a woman. Okay. We have to do, we have to do what God does. <laughs> like we have to make sure that, because God created a woman, okay, mm-hmm. we believe God is a woman, mm-hmm. so and we are women, mm-hmm. so we have to make sure that <laughs> what God created remains what God created is empowered. Mm -hmm. So we empower our girls through education. Mm -hmm. Despite the discrimination, despite Mm -hmm. all the sitting on the fence, Mm -hmm. we are here and right now I will tell you that in a school which was almost closing down because the because it was only a girls school and no girls were going to school, Mm -hmm. the population stands at three hundred and fifty now around three years after we started this project. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Okay, we're yeah. proud of you and good for you. They deserve a class as well. Mary Lee, they look like you want to say something. I am burning from what she was saying earlier. <laughs> and I, I, I just I okay. just want to speak about it a little bit. Really and quick, yes, need to yes. Wrap this up it's right about now. Akote mm-hmm. and how women don't have bodily autonomy and how mm-hmm. little thing you do, mm-hmm. uh, you're judged for it. Mm-hmm. And I took m- upon myself to do a, a, a silent mm-hmm. protest, mm-hmm. a silent pr- protest on social media. Mm-hmm. And for me, I wanted to speak because for me, I mm-hmm. my social media is literally mm-hmm. my voice. I never allow anyone to get between myself and my social media. Okay. And so for a couple of days now, I've been doing a silent protest on posting pictures about myself, their selfies, about my body, most of them almost nude pictures, to see what will happen. Oh, goodness. So to you see what will happen. Started protesting in yes, I, I, okay. Personally, I protest every day about everything <laughs> that I believe in. And okay. in posting those pictures, it started on Friday, Saturday. Mm-hmm. And yesterday I spent my whole day Mm -hmm. being trolled on social media by women and men. Now that didn't worry me because that made me realize Mm -hmm. this is something that needs to be done. Because then it's today morning someone comes into my inbox and tells me you've been my role model. And I told them I am living my authentic life. Mm -hmm. Now if I'm your role model, that stays. But if I have to do something to make myself look a certain type of way to be your role model, mm-hmm. it's about to get off the bus. It's about time you get off the bus and you make sure you pay my makanga so that I can, because you can't just make me oh, your role goodness. model <laughs> and not allow me to be my authentic self. Okay. I'm a human being first and I have to live for myself before I live for anyone. Ooh. How do we consider that for women? That is very important. All right, all right. Oh my God! Like we are running out of time. I don't <laughs> even know what to do. But um, but um, ah, pastor is oh, Mheshmi one. Go ahead, Mheshmi. No, it's okay. <laughs> yes, um, we'd like you to respond to some of the comments that the ladies here Look, uh, have made you know, as a, quickly as well. One, one of the biggest problems in in Parliament when we were talking about nominating women, mm-hmm. uh, there was like, oh no, if uh, political parties bring their girlfriends, etc., etc. Oh yeah, which was wrong. Queen. Which was wrong. Mm-hmm. We have so many amazing young. I would love to see her in Parliament. Yeah. The chance of her getting there as elected would be tough, mm-hmm. all right? But getting there as nominated to mm-hmm. prove herself and to educate us. The lady who's fighting for FGM, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, I love what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Well done. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of money uh, and you've got a lot of ambassadors as well doing lots of good work in, uh, like Josephine Clay, I think, mm-hmm. does a lot of good work in, 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 in Samburu. Mm-hmm. And then, we've, of course, we've got the woman rep who supports the old cultural ways of doing things. Mm-hmm. But for me, I God, if, if, if God is a woman, according mm-hmm. to the Maasai community, mm-hmm. it is a shame Mm-hmm. That we feel we should alter the woman's shape, mm-hmm. and in altering her, in altering her, in circumcising the woman, mm-hmm. can you imagine you're circumcised mm-hmm. in a very barbaric manner, mm-hmm. and then within a week, even before you've healed, mm-hmm. you're being given to a grown-up man, mm-hmm. you know, who rapes you, mm-hmm. you know, he rapes you. That's not love making. That's not marriage. Yes. That's rape. Yes. And then he, you start having your first child, and even before you've healed from your circumcision, mm-hmm. this is wrong. And the mm-hmm. government has banned it, mm-hmm. and yet it is happening, mm-hmm. and it's happening because we don't have enough women in leadership. If we had more women policemen, mm-hmm. if we had more police women, yeah. if we had more 
uh, you know, now we've got more chiefs coming up as women. Mm -hmm. I think we need women to have their space. Mm -hmm. And we settled for not more than two thirds, that means one third women. Mm -hmm. In the uh, SDG number five, mm -hmm. it's 50-50. Mm -hmm. It's not about settling. Mm -hmm. So I want, uh, I want to tell you, all of you have got a pain point. Mm -hmm. And the pain point can become a career. Mm -hmm. I'm a social entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Turn that pain point into a career and run with it. Mm -hmm. Believe in it and it will work. It will work because uh, the, the solutions to the, our country will not come from the few elected leaders. Mm -hmm. It will come from all of us pulling together in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And the right direction is women need to have their space. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, she decides needs to be given. Uh, she needs to be empowered. Mm -hmm. A woman has the right to decide about her own body, mm -hmm. not a man deciding you need to be circumcised mm -hmm. or you need to not have this baby or have this baby. Right. No, mm -hmm. I think women. It's time. It's time we claim our space. Mm -hmm. And for the artists, uh, I think we will. Have, need to have a conversation with the media houses mm -hmm. so that women uh, can be put there. There should be a gender desk in every media house so oh. a woman can start at the gender desk and the gender desk can monitor and see mm -hmm. how many women artists have we promoted. Because Akathia refused to go for an interview with them. She said clearly, why should I come? You don't even play my music. <laughs> Who are you? you know? <laughs> why do you want me to come and talk about Isaac Mutua? Mm -hmm. You know, and his madness. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay, I think it's about time we wrap this up. Um, um, uh, we sure. will continue with this, hopefully, some other sure, day. Sure. I know that it's just not normal to have some of these big, big shots come down to uh, to the grassroots and talk to us. And we are so grateful, uh, Madam, for your presence here today. Uh, from the church, what can we get as a parting shot based on what you've had? The yeah, talk? based on what we have, we have, uh, have heard from the audience. Mm -hmm. Audience, first of all, the young people, I, I want to say on behalf of other clergy, mm -hmm. they may agree or they may not, uh, no, not agree. Mm -hmm. that uh, we, we are really sorry for certain oppression that we put towards you mm -hmm. uh, and it's simply because of the, the, the laid down procedure of the, of, the, of the religion that we serve or mm -hmm. that we work for. Mm -hmm. But in reality, we really need to change and that's why we have, we have the gospel parliament to talk about these issues mm -hmm. and give uh, a safe space mm -hmm. for other people also to live. I, I'm an ally of LGBTIQ community mm -hmm. and um, I, I support uh, them as a, as a community. Mm -hmm. I, I understand where they are coming from mm -hmm. and my prayer is that they should be given space mm -hmm. to grow and uh, be, 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 to develop and grow and be, and, and also give, uh, mm -hmm. uh, to be somebody in, in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, and they should not be discriminated. Mm -hmm. And as a church, what I'm saying is that let the church begin uh, discussing this mm -hmm. and coming out with solutions mm -hmm. that can help our young people mm -hmm. uh, grow. Mm -hmm. uh, because we are facing out. Yes. The person who should come behind me mm -hmm. is you. Mm -hmm. And if you come with an old uh, boy or old girl mentality, <laughs> you will not really succeed. Mm -hmm. So it's my prayer that as young people, mm -hmm. um, I want to encourage you to continue going to the church. Mm -hmm. If there is any challenges, face that clergy or have a club that can discuss some, su such things. Mm -hmm. But if not so, you are welcome to Gospel Parliament. You can come and <laughs> give us a hard time there. You can come and give us a hard time. <laughs> yes. It's about time we conclude this segment, you guys. I'm so sorry. I don't know if I have time for one mm. more. Yeah, because people are really sure. insisting. Yeah. Okay, and uh, please remember that International Women's Day is on and the match is going to be on as well. So please, I hope to see all of you there on Friday mm -hmm. when we take to the streets. Mashimiwa, I hope you'll also be joining us when we take to the streets. And please make sure it's about advancement of gender equality. Now that we even know that God is a woman or God is a woman <laughs> in some of these communities, it is possible. You're watching it and politics with myself, Hilda Wadidi, and it's about time I let the, one of the audience members say goodbye to you as a parting shot. There you go. Okay, once again, my name is Purity Jabbar from Youth Alive Kenya, and uh, we advocate for youth inclusion at the decision table. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be aside, we want to be at the table. Mm -hmm. So like, actually what we do, we have this great project mm -hmm. called Toshiro Kishi Jami, and, uh, and majority of the participants there are women from Kiambu Kamu.